Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny Watch. This video thanks. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video hashtag, I'm not with her. Ever wondered why some Black women are using the hashtag, I'm not with her? Let's dive into this unexpected political shift. I myself am not with her. Sherry Danny, I do not support Kamala Harris and am not voting for her or Trump. I am voting for the couch. I will not vote for the lesser of two evils. Harris and Trump are two wings of the same bird. As much as I can, I am not going to fund my own oppression. Harris seems dizzy and does not give straight answers. She locked up black mothers in California for truancy when she was that state's attorney general. One such mother had a severely ill daughter who has sickle cell anemia, a debilitating disease that affects the red blood cells. Because of Harris had her mother arrested because she missed 10% of school due to her illness, the mother lost her job and they had to live in a motel. Do not trust Kamala Harris. I'm so proud of you right now. Cause you walked all the way down here and I wasn't expecting you to walk. My daughter, Shayla, suffers from sickle cell anemia, a chronic, painful genetic disease. As a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. It's, it's a very sharp stabbing pain and it hurts a whole lot. Like from my chest all the way down, it hurts, including my side. So I decided I was gonna start prosecuting parents for truancy. When Kamala Harris was the California Attorney General, she had me arrested and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and have missed some days of school. Wow. <laughs> I spent a majority of my time here at the hospital. Ugh. Kamala's horrible policies hurt mothers like me and the black community. My name is Sheree Peoples and this is my story. I am a single mother. I've worked as a certified nursing assistant and a caregiver. My daughter Shayla was born in 2002. When she was born, she was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. And it affects all major organs in the body and also causes extreme pain. Dang. Her whole life, she has been on medications That's like sad. morphine and Dilaudid to help her control the pain. In addition, she had to undergo blood transfusions every three weeks. My lifestyle became taking care of her almost full time. It is pretty typical for kids with Shayla disability to miss a lot of school. I just got out of school. I've done three full days this week. Oh, I'm so tired. And for years, the teachers were aware of her condition and her absences were all excused. Dang. California schools get their state and federal funding based off of average daily attendance. Schools are paid about $30 per student per day. In San Francisco, we threatened the parents of truants with prosecution. I first heard of Kamala Harris when she got elected California Attorney General. We are putting parents on notice. We are going to make sure that you face the full force and consequences of the law. She wrote a report saying truancy was costing California schools $1.4 a year in funding. Because of truancy, wow. California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala then wrote a law making it criminal for parents if their kids miss school time. Kamala even wrote a book called Smart on Crime. You can read an excerpt from the book that she just plugged shamelessly. <laughs> it's called Smart on Crime. Talking about arresting parents for truancy. I sent a letter on, on my letterhead out to every parent in the public school system. In 2012, like all California parents, I received a threatening letter from Kamala Harris saying, we'll go to jail for a year if our kids even miss 10% of school days. Wow. It was like a crazy intimidation tactic. I'm gonna start prosecuting parents for children's I thought, wow, this woman doesn't have any empathy. Is it because she's not a mother? I also thought, how could she not understand it would disproportionately affect people of color? Single black mothers. But honestly, I didn't imagine it could affect me. Her teachers had her medical records from the 
Children's Hospital. I even had a 504 plan, which was an agreement between the school district and the parents to provide care for students with disabilities. Oh, wow. It was she April 18th, 2013, the in the morning. I'm in my pajamas. I had just fed my no. daughter, gave her her medications, sent her off to school. Little did I know, there was a warrant out for my arrest. Wow. All of a sudden, the police is outside my house, and they started banging on the door. I opened up my door, and two officers entered my home. They told me I was under arrest for my child missing school. They said I was going to jail. I was shocked. I said, but my baby is sick. The school knows that. And they said, go talk to Kamala Harris. Hmm? Place your hands behind your back. My mom did nothing wrong. We did everything we were supposed to. I was always bringing doctor's notes, always calling the school to let them know that I was in the hospital. Then they handcuffed me. So they take me outside for what you call a perp walk. And oh my God, the TV news was there. The newspapers were there. The you could swear I That's had killed crazy. somebody. It was degrading and was humiliating. I was taken to the criminal justice center. They took my mud shot. I was fingerprinted like a criminal, and I was terrified. And it felt like I caused her so much pain because, in reality, it is because of me, even though I know it's not directly my fault. That's so sad. Sorry. The next day, the Orange County Registered showed the pictures of my arrest. They even had a close-up picture of my hands in handcuffs wow. to show here's a black mother being arrested. It was wow. a truancy rate at over two and a half times that of white students. Everyone knew most truant kids were black. I think Kamala Harris wanted me as an example to threaten other single black mothers like this can happen to you if you don't get your kids in class. The police even put out a press release naming me and other black single mothers like Toya Daniels who got arrested the same day. But my hell was just beginning. They gave me two charges. Failure to supervise and encourage school attendance and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Wow. I couldn't believe it. They framed my daughter as a gang member and basically charged me with neglect. Wow. I spent the, the next two years in court fighting these charges. Kamala assigned her nastiest prosecutors to my case. My homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. <laughs> like 10 different prosecutors. They kept pressuring me to plead guilty and spend a year in jail, wow. but I kept refusing because I did nothing wrong. All the time I had to spend going to court, I was struggling to care for my shape. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent, wow. and we got evicted. Wow. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel and I ended up being in the hospital a lot during her trial. And in that hospital stay was when I had my stroke. Hashtag M not with her, M not with her, the awakening. Black Women United is not with her. Over the last two months, Harris has said she would support a reparations bill, but will not sign an executive order to give the 45 million descendants of United States enslavement monetary reparations or reparations of any form for that matter. Previously, when asked about reparations for black Americans, she said she would not do anything that is only for black Americans. But so I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. But miss only black Americans who descend from enslaved persons and who also lived through Jim Crow and black codes. Harris is full of ish. Also, she purposely allowed over 10 million illegal immigrants to come across the border and compete with America's second poorest people groups, black Americans. She is not with us and I am not with her. In twist, Judge Joe Brown, known for his fiery opinions, went ahead and called Vice President Kamala Harris a hoe. A witch running for president. That woman is the worst kind of sleaze you can ever think of. 
I was in California when it was going down. And I used to represent 40 years ago a whole chunk of pimps and hoes in Memphis. And I know a hoe when I see one. And you're going to fake off about being a Negro. I met a daddy. Sat next to the man for two and a half hours at the governor general's table down in Jamaica. My ex-wife asked him what he was. He said he was Irish and he was Hindu. She said, you don't have anybody black in your family? He said, no. Frustration with her policies, while others think it's just plain disrespect. Her. I am the descendant of slaves and sharecroppers. She is the descendant of slave owners and the wealthy elite. I am not with her. Kamala Harris faces opposition from a group she might expect to support her, black women. This opposition is captured by the viral hashtag #ImNotWithHer, highlighted by a Trump campaign video featuring black women explaining their stance. A primary concern? Representation.ImNotWithHer. Harris is allegedly lying about having an Afro-Jamaican great-grandmother leads some to feel she doesn't fully represent the black American experience. This sentiment reflects the diversity within the black community and the complexities of political representation. The hashtag #ImNotWithHer movement sheds light on the critical role of black women in the Democratic voting base and their potential impact. Historically loyal to the Democratic Party, their shift away from Harris could be significant. #ImNotWithHer. Coupled with polls suggesting Trump might gain more black votes this year, this movement could influence the upcoming election in unexpected ways. I want to see more women in politics and positions of power and leadership, but I am not going to vote for someone with a horrible record and personality as Harris. I am offended that the Democratic Party assumed that because I am Black American that I owe them my vote and because Harris is a woman, am not with her. This has been The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video.